I think Fukushima shows that this risk-informed decision-making is wrong. They're using improper probabilities that are way, way, way too low so that they come up with numbers that rationalize decisions that really put the risk on you and I and minimize the cost to the people that are building these reactors. I think it's time to, to reverse that process with the AP1000 design and to put in reasonable probabilities into these calculations so that public health and safety are really protected. Last year, I met with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission about the AP1000 design, and I had concerns. I got the impression in that meeting that there was nothing anyone was ever going to do to stop this design certification from being approved. Since I met with the NRC, there's been three nuclear meltdowns. Now, you'd think that the Fukushima accidents would cause the NRC to stand back and say, what have we been doing wrong? What should we do to make these plants safer? That's not happening. What's the rush at the NRC? They are pushing rapidly to give a design certification to the Vogel units and the VC summer units. And to my mind, there's, there's no pressing need. America doesn't need the power. Georgia and South Carolina have more than enough. That when the plants are going to be built, the cost of power from them is going to be higher than anything they could buy from any other source. It doesn't make sense, except for the political pressure that's being applied. Well, this full report is on the Fairwinds website and on the NC Warren website. I urge you to read the full report. And if you have any questions, please contact NC Warren at the phone number that's displayed on your screen. Thank you very much. For Fairwinds, we'll keep you informed.